It has been one week since the city of Dayton voted to reinstate a citywide mask mandate requiring people to wear masks in indoor public spaces. The news reporter Kiana Deitzer spoke with Mayor Nan Whaley about how things are going. Well, so far so good, Mayor Whaley says no fines have been issued and the city hasn't gotten a ton of complaints. Some local business owners say violations are slim at their establishments as well. The city of Dayton is one week into a mask mandate, which requires people ages six and older to wear a mask inside public spaces, regardless of their vaccination status. This is much like a speed limit, right? We're telling people, here's the limit. Here's what needs to do. This is the expectation in our community. Uh, as to wear a mask in public indoor spaces and you know, we hope people follow that just like they follow speed limits. Business owners like Liz Valenti at Wheat Penny says most customers are pretty good at managing themselves. We're really trying to be strict in terms of communicating to the customers what our expectation is. So we're saying it on social media. When we take reservations, we're telling them the same thing that they need to wear their masks into the restaurant. We've got signage everywhere. The owner of Glow Juice Bar and Cafe says this year they have a growing number of customers who wear masks regularly. Last year, people were kind of angry about wearing the mask and then there were people when the mask mandate was lifted that were angry that the mask mandate was lifted. It kind of seems like there's a little something on both sides. City officials say masks along with vaccines are the best way to keep people safe. This is about how we raise the standard of what's expected in the city of Dayton to keep our community safe. Kiana Deitches, 2 News, working for you.